Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to control the fire ants in your lawn. So if you've got ant beds out in your yard, maybe you've got kids or pets or things and you just don't like the fire ants, I'm going to show you the product that I use and then talk to you about another product uh, that you can use also. So let's check out the product. I'll show you how to apply it and then we'll talk about the other option if you wanted a different option for your fire ant control. Now I'll put a link where you can purchase Advion below. It's $40, 40 something dollars per two pound jug. Like I said, it goes a long way, so it's relatively inexpensive. The other product I was gonna to talk to you about, I don't have that to show you, but there's a product out there called Top Choice, and you distribute it over the yard. And what is, Top Choice is more expensive, but the good thing about Top Choice is that it lasts a full year. They say they'll give you one year control on fire ants, where uh, this product does not last uh, a full year, though it does give you very good results. Like I said, I'm doing it roughly uh, twice a year and has given me uh, really good results, but you can do it up to four times per year. That's the product I'm using for fire ant control in the, the yard. Now, if you're seeing ant beds in the yard, that's a good sign that you've got fire ants. This is not gonna control all ants, but it does, as you see right there on the name, Advion Fire Ant Bait works great on fire ants. And I know it works great. I use it regularly on my yard and on the lawns of my customers. Now, here's the thing about fire ants. People talk about all the different things you can go put on fire ant beds that'll kill an ant. You know, it's actually not very hard to kill an ant, but keeping an ant away is a difficult thing. So like for instance, if you, let's say you get some kind of little sugar ant in your house, I mean, you could probably spray it with Windex and kill the ant, but that doesn't really do much of anything for solving your problem. So Avion, you can use it a couple ways. You can sprinkle it around the fire ant bed or uh, distribute it evenly through the yard. I typically use this twice a year. If you read the label, it says, and I would encourage you to do that, but it says uh, that you can use it up to four times a year, somewhere between 12 to 16 weeks apart. For me, I usually put it out sometime around April as the weather warms, you start seeing more ant beds. And then again in the fall, maybe, or, or late summer, like August, September time frame, And that usually gives me pretty good control for fire ants. Like I said, you, you can just put it around the individual beds if you want or distribute it. When you read about putting it around the beds, it says to not put it on top of the bed, but to put it three or four feet around the bed. Now I'm gonna apply some Advion to the lawn, show you how I do it and show you how easy it is. So if you look at the top of the Advion jug, it comes in a two pound jug. And the good thing about this is this jug it, if you read the label, it says use one and a half pounds per acre. So, you know, this is gonna cover over an acre of lawn and most people don't have an acre of actual grass. Now, like I said, if you just have, you know, one or two ant beds, you could probably just sprinkle it around them. But if your yard is covered in ant beds, it'd probably be better to broadcast it. And you can use some type of spreader if you've got a handheld spreader or push spreader, but you have to set the settings very low because uh, you know, if you're only trying to put out a, a pound and a half for an entire acre, you know, that, that's a big yard. So it doesn't take a whole lot. But if you see the, the jug, I just usually sprinkle it right out of the jug instead of putting it in some kind of spreader. You see one side is sort of set up like a salt shaker, you know, and then the other side is more open. So you can use either side. I typically use the salt shaker side. So, you know, if you close that side and you got this side and you just walk around squeezing the jug and it sprinkles out a little bit as you walk. All right, so if you see an individual ant bed, you can just sprinkle it around that bed. It says three to four feet away. So you just take it like that. And, and it's got a, you just squeeze the jug. But like, let me show you, if you just want to broadcast it over the whole yard, let me show you how I do that. So I just walk and kind of go side to side as I walk. That's what you do over the whole yard. Like I said, you're gonna get over an acre out of this one jug. But if you just have one or two ant beds, I'd probably 
you know, just put it around those individual ant beds. But like this particular lawn, there's at probably at least 10 ant beds in the lawn. So I'm gonna kind of evenly disperse it over the lawn like I was showing you. I just open up the salt shaker side and squeeze the jug as I walk. And that it seems to be an effective way to, to distribute to me. I don't think unless you're doing a really huge property that you're gonna need to get a push spreader or some kind of broadcast spreader. But I'd like to hear from you if you're using a, one of these products, if you use Advion or Top Choice or some other Fire Amp product, let me hear from you. But thanks for watching the video. You can check out the other videos on the channel if you haven't done so. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I hope to continue to provide helpful videos for you. Talk to you later. Bye.